what you will need for this project is either some embroidery thread, such as this really thin, delicate bracelet I've made here, or you can use yarn as well. I recommend using some sort of yarn that does not um, pill easily and won't get fuzzed up, something that is more akin to cord or thread. Now, for this um, embroidery thread bracelet, I used um, a quite a thin thread. So with that, I used a small hook. This is a 2.25 millimeter hook that I used to make this bracelet. I'll be demonstrating today with this um, bulkier weight and I'll be using a 3.25 millimeter hook. But go ahead and use whichever hook size is suitable for your type of yarn. Let's get started. To begin, you're going to start off with a long yarn tail. That is going to be the tail end of your bracelet. You will start off with one long yarn tail, we'll finish crocheting the bracelet, and leave another long yarn tail. So um, go ahead and leave about four to six inches um, to be generous here. You can always trim it shorter later if you want. And what you're going to do is now create a chain of however long you want your bracelet to be. I'd like mine to wrap around most of my wrist, so I'm going to go ahead and start chaining and then I'll match it up to my wrist to see if it's the right length for me. Now, you're going to want to do an odd number of chains. So here goes. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I'm seeing that it's about the right length that I want for my bracelet. It goes um, around my entire wrist actually, so that is um, just right for me. Now, after you chain that odd number, what you're going to do is do one more chain. And then you're going to make a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. So insert into the second chain and make a half double crochet. Like so. Then you're going to skip a chain and then insert your hook into the next chain. So I'm going to skip this chain, go into the next one down here, and I'm going to insert both a single crochet and a double crochet. So here's a single crochet, and here's a double crochet in the same chain. Then I'm going to skip a chain and go into the next one, put both a single crochet and a double crochet in the same chain. Let's do that all the way across. So skip a chain, in the next chain insert a single crochet, and a double crochet. And again, you're going to want to repeat this all the way across. So um, go skip a chain, then insert a single crochet and double crochet in the next chain. When you get to the very end, all you're going to do is put one half double crochet in the very last stitch. Once you are done going all the way across your um, chain, we're going to go ahead and move your piece around a full 180 degrees. And we're going to work on the bottom or the other side of the chain. So we just did the top part of the chain, now we're doing the bottom part. And to start, uh, we're actually going to mirror the stitches exactly on the other side. 
and here's how to do it. You're first going to chain one and then insert a half double crochet in the first stitch. So here is one of the gaps where you did the single crochet and double crochet on the other side. We're going to go into that same gap. So let me just insert my hook into that first gap. And like the other side, you're going to add in one single crochet and one double crochet. Then you're going to skip the next chain. And in the following one, go back into that gap where you did the single crochet and double crochet. And you're going to do the same. So add a single crochet and a double crochet in that gap. Skip a chain, go into the next one, go into the gap. Insert a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip a chain, go into the next gap. Do a single crochet and a double crochet. Again, skip a chain, go into the next gap. Single crochet and double crochet. When you do that, you are going to have um, a nice lacy texture going on. Um, and you're going to do this all the way across your bracelet to the other side. So continue working down the entire chain. When you reach the end, you're simply going to put a half double crochet in that very last stitch. And then um, you can fasten off. So you want to fasten off so that your other um, tail end is the same length as your first tail end. Just snip it off with a pair of scissors. And there you have it. You have finished with the crochet portion of this bracelet. What you can do now is go ahead and string your um, yarn tail ends into the center of the bracelet. So you see how this one is sticking off to the side a little bit? I can go ahead and pull it more towards the center down here and I'm just using a um, smaller hook to do that. You can use a yarn needle or you can use um, a small hook to do the trick. And here you see this one is kind of off-centered to the side because that was our starting yarn tail. I can just pull it through one of these stitches and make it more centered. So now it's going out through the middle. Just small details. All right, there you have it. I decided to have some fun and add a couple little beads to the sides of my bracelet here. All I did is slip it through the yarn end, the yarn tail, and tie a little knot to keep it in place. All right, so to start the knotting part, you're going to have your bracelet on one side and let's go ahead and pull the two tails of your bracelet around, kind of curve them around like so. We're going to then secure them with tape. So here I have my bracelet uh, kind of taped down with the two ends uh, overlapping here. And I cut a different string. This one is about 12 inches long and I'm going to use it to make the little adjustable clasp. Now what I'm going to do is first tuck a tail under the, um, the bracelet's straps. Oops. This is what happens when I skimp on tape and I use like an itty bitty piece of tape. Okay, there we go. And 
and you're gonna pull it over like so. All right, so here I, I pulled one yarn end under, and then I'm gonna take the other end and put it over this top, and then put it under the um, opposite end. Oops, under, there we go. And now I'm gonna put stick this one, instead of over and under, it's gonna go under the middle part, under the bracelet, and then over the loop. So over the loop. And I'm gonna pull this tightly, like so. Now let's do that again. I'm gonna push this down a little bit. Let's make a loop here. On this side now, we're gonna alternate. So pull it over the bracelet and under the next, um, the opposite end. Then you're gonna take this opposite end, put it under the bracelet and over this loop. It's like a little pretzel. And then you fasten it or tighten it don't make it too tight though. Okay, and now we're going to make the loop on this end first. So over loop and then over the middle part, under the um, opposite end, take that opposite end, go under the bracelet and over through the loop. Now we'll do that just a couple more times. Over and under. Oops, wait, I just did that end. So over and under. And you string this one through, under and over. Over and under, under and over, and you can continue this to make however long you'd want your um, clasp to be. I'm just going to make mine a tiny bit longer and then I will probably cut it off. Okay. There we go. When you feel like you have made your clasp long enough and you want to stop, you can go ahead and snip off the ends pretty short. Make sure you have some nail, clear nail polish to fasten it. Okay, so I'll show you an easy way I uh, fasten up the bottom. I'm going to get some scratch paper here to put under now. Grab some nail polish and get some clear nail polish for this because you don't want the color to actually um, stain your bracelet. And just simply dab at the ends. This will make the ends nice and um, secure over your bracelet clasp. So I'm doing that for both sides. And go ahead and let that dry. This is optional, but if you would like to, you can go ahead and add beads to the ends of your bracelet as well. Um, 
a good reason to do that, or at least to knot the ends of your bracelet, is so that it um, provides, it'll become a stopper for the clasp. You don't want it to come loose, of course. So I'm taking off my little um, tapes here. And I can go ahead and string in the um, little bead, which will take some effort <laughs> here. I don't think I could do that on camera um, with the camera right in front of me, but I'll go ahead and string in the bead and then knot to the end um, and do the same to the other end, making sure that they're of equal length and symmetrical. All right, so here is my finished bracelet now. I've gone ahead and added beads again to the ends of it. I tied knots and made sure the knots are big enough so that the bead won't slide through. And um, you can even fuzz up the little yarn end here to make it look a little bit like a tassel. So that's that for um, this bracelet project. I hope you enjoyed making it. Since it's adjustable, you can make it for any size uh, wrist you'd like. And um, it's a lot of fun to customize with different yarn colors, different styles of beads and different colors of beads. And you can even explore different ways to um, add clasps to the ends of your bracelets too. And um, they even produce a lot of different looks because even um, here between what I made and the um, first sample I did, um, you can see there's a lot of differences. So um, go ahead and find the yarn um, or the thread that you want to work with and you can get started. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful time crafting. Bye now!